Happy Saturday evening, everybody. Current University of Southern Mississippi is 82, but it feels like 87. They've had no rain there so far today. We'll take a look at Walt Massey Ford in Columbia. Look at that, almost two inches of rain in Columbia, 1.85. 73 and it feels like 73 and finally we'll check on Laurel Ford and Laurel we're at 77 but it feels like 87 they've barely had any rain up that way uh, on the almanac today got up to 94 officially the average high is 91 the record 102 in this state back in 1903 the low this morning was 77 should be around 72 this time of year but the ad uh, the record low was 62 62 degrees in the state back in 1924. Now, we'll take a look at current readings, and believe me, they have been tampered down by the rain. 75 in Collins, 71 in Bassville, 75 in Columbia, Summerall, 78 in Ellisville, 75 in Oak Grove, 74 in Fosworth, 79 in uh, Brooklyn, but it's still 84 in Clara and Richmond, but you'll probably be cooling down shortly too as well. Now, here's a look at the dying thunderstorms we have left in the area. Uh, the one over Channel 7 is beginning to fall apart. I've taken the lightning off, but we have some near Channel 7, near Downton, near Petal, just to the northeast of Hattiesburg, near the Sunrise Community, Runnelstown, and Indian Springs. And there's some more up in Wayne County, near Waynesboro, Whistler, uh, Hollis Creek, and Stringford. And finally, we've got some over in Marion County. They're really dying out, and they're improving Columbia and Olo. And finally, just to the south of us, Camp Shelby, Paul B. Johnson State Park, Brooklyn, and just north of Maxie. But overall, they're just starting to fall apart, and they'll continue to do so as we work the evening hours. But it's going to be replaced by, I think, some patchy fog overnight. Now, here's the latest on Tropical Storm Barrel. Let me explain something. It's still a 60 mile power uh, sustained windstorm, which keeps it at tropical storm strength. But it is expected to intensify as it gets into the uh, western Gulf of Mexico. There's going to be a lighter wind shear environment, plus, the water is very warm. And there's a possibility to undergo explosive intensification. At this point, it's forecast to be at least a Category 1 with 85 mile per hour winds when it reaches this, uh, the, uh, just to the north of Corpus Christi here in the south central, well, the eastern, uh, southeastern coast of Texas. Now, earlier last night, we were concerned the track was coming over to the portion of the Pine Belt. That has shifted back to the north. And we'll probably have an increase in rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. Maybe a little bit of wind, but nothing compared to a hurricane or anything like that. So don't worry about that at all. All right, here's your uh, muggy meter right now. It's oppressive outside, and it's going to be oppressive and miserable for the next several days here in the Pine Belt. All right, we'll take a look now at our next graphic. And I don't know why it's not moving, but I'll tell you what it's going to be. It shows us becoming partly cloudy overnight with patchy fog, lows around 75 degrees. And I'll have more coming up shortly. 